Hey, hey. Hey. How are you doing today? Doing very good. Welcome to Howard. Uh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So are you ready to answer 73 questions? I think so. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's get into it. So can you tell us who are you? My name is Kylie Burke. I'm a senior honors political science major, psychology minor from the Bay Area, California. Amazing. So what would you say you're most passionate about? Uh, definitely politics, um, hopefully law and pre-law as well. So definitely looking to get into that field. Um, and just like in general, I'm really passionate about social justice and history in general, particularly like political history. Very cool. So you gotta let me know. Are there any white people at Howard? <laughs> there are a few. Um, it's definitely the majority, like heavy majority black though. Okay, so what's it like going to an HBCU? Uh, perfect. <laughs> um, oh, it's very one. similar to like other college experiences, but it's those few unique things and cultural things that we have that really separate it. Um, and I love my experience at Howard. Good to hear. So do you ever wish that you didn't go to an HBCU? No, I think Howard was the perfect home for me. Um, I applied to non-HBCU schools, um, but I definitely think I made the right decision with HU. Yay, good, good. Okay, so are most of the students African-American or do the campus have a lot of black internationals? I would definitely say the majority is African-American, but there's a huge international community and they have a really big cultural impact on campus. One to 10, how similar is Howard to the movies? One, nothing like it. 10, it's identical. It's about a five. Okay, why would you say five? I think there's, Howard changes. Like there's been decades. We say there's like old Howard, new Howard, my Howard. Um, so I think some of the movies kind of depict like old Howard very, very well, but so much has changed in the last few years alone. Okay. If you had to choose a song to describe your college experience, what song would you choose? That's a hard one. Um, Legend by Drake. Oh, okay, I like that one. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Howard? Uh, definitely the people, not just like current students, but I've been able to connect with like so many recent alumni um, and just the alumni community in general. The Howard like network and community is ridiculous. Yes, I was at Howard Homecoming and met some of the alumni. Yes. What is Howard Homecoming in a few words? Whew, the biggest party of the year. <laughs> um, yes. It's spread out like over the weekend and there's some events during the week too, but everything from Yard Fest, which is a huge concert, to the student fashion show, to tailgate in the parking lot. It's all fun. It's just about connecting Howard together. Oh, I love it. What's a Howard stereotype that holds true? Um, sometimes we can be elitist, but the girls really are just so pretty. Like that's, pe people always say that, but like Howard women really are beautiful. They really are. So where are we right now? So we are on the yard and behind us is Founders Library, one of the most historical buildings on campus and like our landmark picture for, for campus too. Can we walk through the, wa the <laughs> yard a little bit? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's do it. So is this your favorite place on campus you'd say? Yes, definitely one of them. As you see, like it's fall right now too. So I like how the leaves change colors and everything. Like it just makes me feel like I'm like at a college campus, if that makes sense. Yes, it does make sense. So what other names does Howard go by? Ooh, so many. Um, the Mecca, the real HU, sorry Hampton. Um, the Hilltop, which is also the name of our school newspaper too. Ooh. So you go to a school in the U.S. Capitol. Does that affect your college experience? I think so. Um, I think it's different for everyone though, especially if you live on campus. Howard can kind of be a bubble. Um, but I live off campus now, so I think, especially being a political science major, it's really cool to kind of be in the action. Mm, yes. So would you say you actually take advantage of all the government internships or opportunities that DC offers? Yes, I actually was able to be an HU Congressional Fellow and got my first internship on the Hill when I was a sophomore. Oh, amazing. Congrats. Thank you. So what can you tell us about the most recent protests in the fall? So the most recent protest was about 30 day, uh, over 30 days. Um, Howard has a huge history of protesting on campus and I think students continued in that history. Um, there were multiple demands related to housing, communication, um, and it was resolved in an agreement with the student protesters, but I think we all know there's a lot more work to do on campus still. Mm, yes, that sounds good. So rate your dining hall experience one to 10 for me. <sighs> I gotta be honest, it's about a seven, seven or an eight. Okay, Howard, <laughs> what's the best dining hall on campus? Uh, I'm biased. Blackburn um, is mine. That's the student government offices are over there. So that's usually where I eat. Okay. So no shade. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten in the dining hall? Ooh, I've had some poorly made pasta. Just all the ingredients were wrong. Um, oh. But we all know there's one pasta guy that always makes it right. And that's who I look for. Yes, <laughs> pasta guy. What's the late night spot on campus for snacks? Ooh, there's so many. Um, a lot of stuff is off campus though. There's like this really good bar, El Rey, that a lot of people go to. It's like a mandatory Howard place. Mm, okay. 
What clubs are you involved in on campus? Uh, so the biggest thing I'm involved in is student government. Uh, I was involved since being a freshman. I'm currently student body president. Okay. Uh, I'm also in 1867. It's a really fun organization that does like our large quintessential Howard events. So homecoming, commencement, charter day, all of that stuff. So I like seeing the behind the scenes of what makes like the magic happen. Yes. So when you say you're the president, is that just undergrad or graduate students too? So Howard does student government um, at the top level, so it's undergrad and graduate. It's the Howard University Student Association, um, which has been running on campus since 1961. Wow. So you have 10 seconds. Quick, brag about yourself. Tell us everything. Who man. Uh, graduating senior, like I said, HU Congressional Fellow. I've uh, been able to do a lot here at Howard, looking like graduating summa cum laude, fingers crossed. Um, and really looking forward to going to law school and hopefully making a big impact post-grad. Ooh, what, what? <laughs> so what's Howard's Royal Court? Howard's Royal Court is a really cool part of campus where um, all the colleges have a Mr. and Mrs. And then there's one kind of like student government and undergrad and graduate like Mr. and Miss Howard. And so they're able to do a lot of events um, and they go and support other parts of campus as well. But it's really just a huge HBCU tradition um, that we hold like really close to our hearts. Hmm, really cool. What is the frat and sorority life like on campus? It's really like culturally and historically significant. Um, we have the MPHC here on campus. I'm in a lot of D9 organizations as well um, so it's a really big part of campus for sure so are you in a sorority I'm not okay so which frat or sorority has the most clout on campus it's a dangerous question but <laughs> I'd probably say AKA right now okay AKAs. so how often do the alphas stroll at parties I'll say often <laughs> <laughs> how often do you guys go out to parties during the week um, I think it depends on the type of student that you are but I think everybody's out at least once or twice a week I hope so okay what's a typical Howard party outfit who honestly the best you got everybody comes fitted always i can only imagine <laughs> what is the typical howard party like is there themed parties uh sometimes like we'll do like r b nights or like pajama parties and stuff like that but most of it's just kickbacks cool music cool people okay what song do you hear the most consistently at every howard party dreams and nightmares <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no hesitation same in you pat do um, you party at other Washington universities? Um, I know there was a really big like Howard tradition called Georgetown Day, um, but I've never gone. Oh, okay. If your school was in alcohol, would it be a fine wine, scotch, beer, or tequila? Ooh, I could see us being a wine or a scotch, but I'll go with wine. Okay. And why wine? I think uh, we just, a little more refined. Like I said, sometimes we can go towards the elitist side of things, but I think Howard students would like a, a cold scotch every now and then too. Mm -hmm. Does Howard have any other unique traditions? Uh, yes, we have our rivalry with Hampton. Um, that's a really, really big one. Um, and homecoming. Mm, yes. So how late do you guys' library stay open? Uh, we don't have a 24-hour library this semester. Um, they're usually like a nine to five. Okay. Um, how many are on campus? There are three. Hey, which one's your favorite? Um, probably HSL, the health science library, but to be honest, I study at Starbucks more often than anything. Yeah, Starbucks <laughs> is the spot. What's your typical class size? Uh, probably like 20 students-ish. Okay, what's the men to woman ratio? It is 70 to 30% here on campus. Oh my gosh. Yes. How is it having more women than men? Like I said, all the girls are super pretty, um, really nice, uh, but it definitely does. You can tell, I'll say it like that. Like you go into <laughs> class and there's definitely more girls than boys. Okay. How many hours of homework do you do a day? Ooh, this semester, it was more like five hours every weekend. Oh, <laughs> I love it. So homework, you're the class president. Are you ever sleep deprived? A little bit, but we're coming off the Thanksgiving holiday, so I feel really good right now. Yes, good, good. So how many hours do you typically get per week or per day? Per day, probably like five to six, if I'm lucky. Uh, dang. What's the best tip for juggling social life and school here at Howard? Uh, make really good friends that hold you accountable and not just like making sure you're doing your work and stuff, but hold you accountable to having fun and enjoying college too. Yes, it's so important to have fun. One to 10, how attractive is your student body? Ooh, 10, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Are Howard students more into hooking up or dating? Definitely hooking up. Oh God, which athletic team has the most clout? Um, this year, I would say men's basketball. They like keep going viral on TikTok. Okay, TikTok. <laughs> Which, um, Howard is 256 acres. How much do you walk a day? <laughs> too much. Um, we haven't gone on any of them, but there's multiple hills on campus too. So calves, legs, everything be burning. <laughs> oh, do the students use bikes, skateboards, or scooters? A uh, lovely demo right here. Yes, scooters <laughs> yes. are all over campus. I don't really see a lot of skateboards or bikes though. Okay. 
The stereotype I've heard is that you have to look fly every day on Howard's campus, edges laid, nails done, outfit on point. Is that true? I think a lot of people uh, do follow that stereotype, but you can also pull up to class in sweatpants. We totally understand. Okay. <laughs> is there a lot of social competition on campus? There can be. It depends on what part of campus you're into. Okay. Is the school academically competitive or do you guys help each other out? I think we're able to be both. Okay, good. Because you go to an HBCU, do you think you will be equipped to handle um, potentially predominantly white spaces after graduation? Absolutely. Howard's a bubble, but it's not the only bubble, right? Okay. So Yes, true. You're still in Washington. What's the typical temperature during the winter? Uh, too cold for me. I'm from California. Yes. <laughs> um, but it really hasn't snowed like heavy, heavy since my freshman year. Okay, good. So are there an article of clothing that you see everyone on campus wear? Yes, a Howard crew neck is essential. Quick promo to LHP, a Howard brand um, that's doing really well right now, but whether it's like basic gray with Howard print, everyone has a Howard crew neck that they rock. Yes, and this one is so dope. Thank you. You're welcome. What's an essential item to bring to campus when you're moving in? <sighs> a portable phone charger. Mm. How often do you leave campus? Uh, a lot. Uh, living off campus this year has been like the biggest difference and like living on campus is I'm really only here for like social stuff or if I have meetings in class. Okay, so what year are people allowed to move off campus? Uh, some people do it as early as sophomore year, but I would recommend staying for two years if you can. Mm. How is Howard's financial aid? It could be better. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Do you ever feel unsafe walking through campus at nighttime? Uh, sometimes, definitely like traveling groups wherever you go to college. How close is the nearest airport? Uh, it's like a $24 Uber. <laughs> oh, fill in the blank. If I had no blank about Howard, I would have never chosen it. Whew, if I had known some of the secrets about Howard. <laughs> mm, can you spill one? Not today. Fair enough. Any celebrity spottings on campus? Yes, I used to always see Nick Cannon my freshman year. Oh. He had like a class in one room like right before I did. So we'd like see each other in passing very often. Very cool. <laughs> one to 10, how much Howard pride do you have? 10, for sure. <laughs> how is the Howard Alumni and Network? Amazing, like unparalleled. They're super helpful. Any industry you want to be in, there's probably a Howard person there. Any room you want to be in, there's probably a Howard person mm. there too. Who is your favorite alumni? Ooh, you're gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, I have to say my cousin, Kia, 2016. Uh, yes. Do you feel like all socioeconomic classes are represented here at school? Yes, I think we could do better at acknowledging that though. Okay. Have all of your professors been back, black? No, they haven't. I've had two white professors. Okay. I've only had a few teachers who look like me on campus. Do you think that having a um, predominantly black professors has made it easier for you to learn and ask questions? Absolutely. It's you feel it being like a safer space for everyone to have like bigger dialogues, especially being a political science student. We're talk able to talk about like the nuances and the intersectionality of race and a lot of the topics that we're exploring that I think are easier when the professor can relate directly. Yes, that's so cool. Do you think you've met a future millionaire? Definitely. SOV money gang. <laughs> <laughs> Do the majority of kids on campus want to change the world or just be rich? I would like to believe would like to change the world. Mm. Do the majority of graduates you know leave with jobs? Yes, for okay. sure. Good. If you could change one thing about your school, what would you change? Um, I would make it easier to like travel throughout campus. We have a shuttle system, but I think it could be a lot better. Hmm. Number one tip for success here at Howard. Be yourself, honestly. There's so many different things to get involved in on campus, so many different people you can try to be, but if you stay true to yourself, can't go wrong. Ah, great advice. Howard's in Washington. How do you like the area? I like it. I really, really do, especially like Northwest DC where we're at. Um, and I live over in Columbia Heights, so it's really cool to be over there too. Okay. Is the capital as clean as they say it is? Uh, depends on what part you're in. <laughs> <laughs> is your school clicky? Yes. Do you think the school needs more diversity? Um, I think so. Describe the best party you've ever been to. Best party I've ever been to was freshman week. Um, it's where like I made like my freshman week friends. It was actually right here on the yard. It was the all white party for UGSA, the Sunday before classes start. And it's like our first memory. We have a picture at every single one. Um, and it just really, really made me feel like I was in college. I was at Howard, I was making friends. Like I felt very grown at the time. Yes, and now look at you, you actually are grown. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think Howard chose you? Very good question. Um, I think Howard chose me because they felt how much I wanted to be here um, and how much I wanted to learn and add on to the legacy that is Howard University. Hmm. So do you think Howard is the best college? I would have to say so. So should everybody watching this video apply? If Howard is for you, it's definitely for you. And I can't wait to see you guys here. Yes, thank you so much. That's the end of the interview. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Bye.